What is going on, everybody? It's the Phantom Michael. We're here in Generation 6, the X and Y games, trying to take our team all the way through to the final game of Pokemon, which is uh, Gen 8, the Galar region uh, currently. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take on the Elite Four uh, in Kalos. So we're going to see if this team that you see on your screen below is up for the challenge to uh, taking on the uh, Kalos region's Elite Four and Champion. Now everybody in the Kalos region, this is their uh, rematch teams. Um, I don't remember actually ever challenging um, the rematch teams. Who do I want to take on first, man? Who do I want to take on first? I think I want to take on water, man. I think I'm going to take on water first. So we are going to come down to the flood chamber. And we're going to take on this man here. We are going to lead. We have we have a Cubone, or a Mr. Sorrow, as you see, on the team. Um, I do think... This chamber is so awesome, by the way, guys. Like, this this entire room is super dope. Like, this whole scene is sick. I think the, the room, yeah, it does. It floods with water. So sick, bro. Th this is, like, the coolest Elite Four, in my opinion, because of stuff like this. So now, like, the room is, like, covered in water, and it's insane. I'm going to quickly swap my teamer. Oh, I do have Plugs up front. Okay. Plugs is leading. So, all right, Plugs. Let's take on this team. They usually only have four Mons um, for the main. I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure. So we're going to... They should have six now. They should have six if, if memory serves. Um, if memory serves, they should have six, six Mons now. Lead him with Klutzer, okay. Only four Mons again, okay. Interesting. Huh, I thought they, uh, I thought they had a full team of six after you beat them the first time. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Volt Switch out, even though that's kind of, I wanted to Volt Switch because I don't want to take too much damage with Wild Charge, but we're just gonna straight up knock him out. Um, which is gonna switch us directly into I want to say he goes uh, binnacle next I want to say he goes binnacle so I'm just going to dive right into Claire and I don't think I'm pretty sure it's, it's Starmie okay. Starmie's coming out I'm not going to I'm going to let them I'm going to set so okay. we're going to hit Starmie we're going to hard switch we're gonna hard switch into plugs. I don't think Starmie could really do anything against plugs. I don't know why I have Surf still on on Cedra. Honestly, need to get rid of that move. Um, I just haven't found another move or a better move to put on Cedra um, with any of my other games. But I know for a fact in uh, the um, Galar games, I'll have a really solid move selection for uh, Kingdra. We're going to take a little bit of damage. We don't have the life orb in this game like we did in the last one, so no life orb damage. Gyarados is coming out, which is fine. We're going to stay in with plugs, and we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing over again. You're going to intimidate me. That's fine. We're just going to wild charge you till there's like no tomorrow. So I don't think you're living. After taking on the third Elite Four team, because remember, guys, I did do Kanto, Johto, um, Sinnoh, Unova, Hoenn. My team's pretty freaking bulky, dude. Like, these these guys don't really stand a chance. Like, not even close. Even at level 65. So, I mean, we're plugging an 8. I haven't battled anybody else but the Elite Four team. And if you watch the first episode of this series whenever I take on uh, the Kanto Elite Four that is I didn't do any grinding or nothing we just went right at it where we were at 
Okay. We have defeated the first Elite Four member in Kalos. So we are going to backtrack. And we are going to head to the next one. Um, I believe Dragon is, is right there. Let me go ahead. I'm not using items in battle. But I am going to slap a full restore on plugs. That's how much money I have in my X and Y games. Because I already knew who I wanted to take through the game with. So. Um... Let's swap Claire to the front here. Then we're going to take on, I believe this is the dragon. Dragon Mark Chamber it is. Okay. We're going to take on the dragon Elite Four member. Excuse the fireworks going on in the background. I do apologize. Look at this room, dude. I mean, the dragon statue just coming alive is, is absolutely nuts. Um, check it, dude. It's so sick. Kalos is probably, like, the best Elite Four introductions that you get. Black and white are pretty good, but these this one's just no comparison. All right. We are taking on... I, I believe this has got to be, got to be relative. Okay. We're, it's going down, man. One of the my favorite dragon type mons, actually. Um, poison dragon versus water dragon. All right, we're going to hit it with a dragon pulse, nice and hardcore. See what happens. Well, bam! This is going to be a very strong dragon pulse, and not even modest sniper Kingdra here, level 84. Altaria is coming out, which threw me through a loop last time because I totally thought, totally thought this thing was fairy dragon off rip. It is actually a flying dragon until it mega evolves. I don't think I think Claire's gonna sweep this entire team. I don't I don't think what's the next two dragons? Noivern, Flying Dragon, not Dragon Flying, but Flying Dragon is coming out. Um just to save PP on Dragon Pulse. Four times Ice Beam. And that's gonna be that for Noivern. And then EXP share is active, uh we are going to go up against this guy. We're just going to hit it with an Ice Beam. Even though it's not Stab, it's still super effective. I still think it's going to take it out. And it does. Okay. That is the second Elite Four member. Going down, we are now level 85 with Claire. Oh my goodness, dude. I don't think Leon is going to stand a chance in the Gallery region. Even with his G-Max. And I don't have, we cannot let Sorrow evolve because we're saving that for the next episode in the Alola region, guys. Okay. And we're going to head over to, I don't even think they got an attack in, so. I like that she waves goodbye after that's really awesome. Okay, and we are going to head over, let's head over to the steel type, and we are going to switch, we're going to lead with Charizard, is what we're going to do, we're going to lead with Drago, alright, let's do this squad, leading with old Drago, in the Ironworks chamber, This one's a lot more, you know, having only four Mons in Elite Four, I really, it's so weird that they don't have a, I have to look it up to see if there is, um, to see if you ever get to fight them at, like, their full potential, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Their rematch team, if you will. Um, hmm. Alright, let's check this out real quick. Uh, 
All right. We'll take you on, man. We will definitely be taking you on. Wilstrom. Clef key's coming out. Okay. Such an odd mon. We're going to hit it with the flare bullets. And bam. That is all Clef Key wrote. Yeah. The champion has more mons that are on par with us. It's kind of it's kind of shady that we're just sweeping, essentially. See, this one's going to be interesting. It's got electric type moves. It's got rock type moves. It's got steel type moves. I don't even know if this is going to knock it out, honestly. Not entirely sure if it's going to knock it out in one hit. It does not, which is actually kind of nuts. Power Gym, four times super effective against Charizard. And doesn't knock out the Zard, my guy. He definitely is going to full... Oh, he didn't full restore, which is kind of nuts. Okay. Cool. So Charizard's still in, but Charizard's definitely going to go down to Flare Blitz. Um, the recoil damage. So, GG Charizard. Alright. And we're going to go into... Let's just go into plugs. Uh... Eh, let's go to King. Let's go to King. All right, King. Let's get in there. Scizor coming out. I actually kind of dig Scizor, and but funny enough, we actually have a Fire Blast for Scizor. Well, bam! Engulfed in flames. Really love Scizor. Really awesome mom. The Bug type really ruins him. Mega Slash coming out and. Well, bam. Let's hit it with uh, Earthquake, maybe. Stab Earthquake. Let's get it, man. My Lanta, that did so much damage. Dropped him down to 1 HP, actually. Got to hit me with an Iron Head. I'm a little bit faster. Does a lot of damage, man. We're going to swing one more Earthquake at him. Pops the full restore. Let's see. He was in defensive. Uh, he was in King's uh, the the defense stance, I guess. So he's in the offense stance, so that should knock him out. Okay. And there is the third elite four member defeated. Sorrow Ganon to level seventy without evolving. Remember, we got this guy at like level twelve. Level twelve was what we found little cube on it. All the way in Kanto. Alright, we defeated... We defeated the Maichi Steel-type Elite Four member. And then, let me go to the bag. We're going to revive our Charizard. We're going to full heal our King. And we're going to... Quickly revive our Zard. And that's going to be that. Okay. What type is next? I believe it's fire is next. If I'm not mistaken, fire. So who do we want to lead with with fire? Let's check our Pokemon. And why not lead with Claire? Cool. Alright, Claire. We are taking on the Fire Type Elite Four member, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the strongest. For sure. My, has, has one of the, the coolest rooms. I, I really think the Water Type member probably has my favorite room, but. This room is also pretty dope. I like the uh, fire wall that's behind her. She's just chilling. Just absolutely kicking back on the throne. Like, kid, I barely have time for this. Better be worth it. Malva is coming after me. I don't think her, her name might not be Malva. It might be Malv, maybe. But I'm not entirely sure. We're just going to hit it with the Surf Dude and see what happens. 
Surf does a lot of damage, but it does too much damage, actually, to this Pyroar. Pyroar, one of my favorite, favorite fire types. Absolutely. Plugs Ganon, level 84 status. Talon Flame coming out. If this Tailwind comes up, they're going to get a little speed boost, but I don't think Claire's going to let them do it because Claire is damn near 15 levels higher than them. Or if Claire's level 85, Claire is 20 levels higher than them, I apologize. Which again, again looks like overkill. But what we're trying to accomplish, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, it just it is what it is. I would really like to reduce their levels, but as they beat Elite Four members, they just gain so much experience. And then, you know, once you hit the uh, next generations, your entire team levels up as you battle. So. Okay. There's that. Level 86. Nice. And I ain't gonna lie, I did have the most problems coming from a team I can I can honestly say this coming from a team that has battled in fact battled all of the elite fours I really think that uh, Cynthia was probably the biggest threat and here it is we are already at the end guys I, she has a full team of six so I think what we're going to do, we're going to lead with Sorrow. Get Sorrow some screen time. I'm going to ride the awesome elevator. I think this is why this is so sick. Okay. Here we are. We are ready to throw down. Welcome back. This is our... Acknowledging me. See, I'm very surprised. You know, it's very interesting that we get to re-challenge the Elite Four. Pokemon Leech, is he? I should be former champion. I'm the champion, man. I am the champion. Throwing down with a Halucha. Okay. All right, Halucha. Sorrow is coming out. And I don't think this Halucha... He's going to be able to stop these stealth rocks. Well, hit me with a flying press. I don't think it's going to knock me out, though. It does not. Not stopping stealth rocks, my friend. Now, if you have defog, which you could, which you absolutely could, flying press again. It's just going to flying press me. I wish I had a rocky helmet on my guy. Just fine. Double edge is actually going to do a decent amount of damage. Good job, little sorrow. Swing another one. Let's do maximum damage first, man. I don't think I don't think you're gonna knock us out. You do, okay? You surprise me. Okay, sorrow definitely did the damn thing. And I'm gonna go out into plugs right now, and plugs is just gonna start firing off. Just go ahead and fire off. Let's just fire off wild charges, man. Let's just go ahead. Let's just start firing them away. Boom. And one. I don't know how much damage. Okay, so it did about 23 damage to me from recoil. Mystic grew to level 73. Mystic not being... Oh. No, I have Brick Break. I do have Brick Break. Take a little bit of baby chip here. Which is fine. And we're going to go ahead and just... Let's just do an EQ, man. Let's just do an EQ. Totally think Electivire should have been fighting Electric, but that's okay. Dropping it off right there, guys. Gudra coming out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gudra's actually kind of... Hit it with Stab Wild Charge. Let's see how much damage this does. Doesn't quite knock it out. So okay. Let's see what Gudra Dragon Pulse. Okay. Let's see how strong this Gudra is going to be swinging. 
Hits you pretty good, actually. Hits you pretty good. We're going to hit you with another wild charge and see if that does the trick. It did do the trick. Gudra is toast. Another 23 damage. Good job. Plugs hanging in there. Drago gaining level 87. Okay, now I can 100%. Actually, I can do both. I can either EQ or I can Brick Break. Both are going to do massive amounts of damage. For, for the just the knockout, just a straight up knockout, we're just going to EQ. Ice and Rock is a very terrible type. And I'm very sorry that that is such a nice Pokemon. Okay. EXP share. Gorgeist is coming out, which is fine. Very good showing of Mons here. Let's hit this thing with a wild charge. Stab wild charge. Should knock it out. It resists. I forgot. So, trick or treat. Okay. Trick or treat. Okay. It's fine. This this wild charge 100% taking you out. Okay, Gore guys fainted. I don't think Plugs is going to survive the entire battle. Don't think Plugs is going to win it for us. Gardevoir's coming out, which is the ace. Fairy Psychic type. Going to copy trick. Motor drive, copy motor drive. I don't think I can hit it with electro type attacks now. Alright, let's see if we knock out. Let's see if we knock it out. This is going to tell it all right here. See if we knock it out. Hit it over the EQ. Are we going to earn our, our ribbon? We did. We knocked it out in one hit. Okay. Good job, plugs. That was it. That was our entire Kalos uh, Elite Four battle, guys. Again, you know, we are very overleveled compared to what's going on. But... It, you know, trying to complete this journey here has been kind of huge. I mean, these guys came all the way from Fire Red to uh, bring you this content. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure you guys are smashing the like button. Support has always been greatly appreciated with the series. Um, again, I apologize for everybody that's waited so long to, um, to watch. Again, it just took me a really long time to uh, play through the entirety of X and Y again. So... I do apologize. I am healing right here. We're going to have another series of this coming out soon with a different team. Um, I really think you guys will enjoy. Um, and we are trying to make sure that these guys have all the, all the ribbons that we want. Okay, there we go. There's our Hall of Fame team with Sorrow level 70. With King, level 85. With Claire, level 86. With Mystic, level 73. With Plugs, level 85. With Drago, level 87. And that right there, my friends, is the squad that we chose to complete this game with.